Camera Management. In this chapter, we will learn how to configure the cameras. Click on the Menu button and then choose Settings. The first category is Camera. After clicking on it, you will see a subcategory appearing on the right. We'll start with Add Camera. Adding a camera is very similar to the process of adding a camera which we introduced in the Wizard chapter. You must confirm that the NVR network parameters are configured properly before you can successfully add a camera. Since we already configured the network by now through the Wizard, we are good to go. We'll touch the network settings later on, in case you wish to modify any configuration you have done through the wizard. Click on Add Camera in the Camera Subcategory section to open the interface. Alternatively, if there is an empty window on the Live View display, you can click on the plus icon on the top right of that window. Adding a camera has several options, but before adding the camera, we need to make sure that all the IP camera settings are correct. First, make sure that the IP addresses of the cameras are correct and organized. If you wish to change it, this is the time. If you wish to change the network settings for a specific camera, click on the pencil icon next to it. Set the network parameters as you wish and confirm. The new settings will take effect momentarily. If you wish to set a batch of cameras, Tick all the cameras you wish to set and click on the arrow next to the edit line. In the opened interface, set the start IP, subnet mask, and gateway. Input the admin password and confirm by clicking OK. The change will take effect within a few seconds. Next is setting the default usernames and passwords. For that, we have created the default password button. You can use it to set the default password for different devices and manufacturers. Click on it to open its settings window and set the usernames and passwords accordingly. Doing so will save you from editing the credentials for each camera separately. Now you can easily add the cameras. The easiest way to add the cameras is through Quick Add. This interface will show you all the available cameras in the network. Just tick the cameras you wish to add and click on Add. If required, change the username and password after adding the camera by clicking on the pencil icon next to it. You can also add the camera manually from the Add Manually section. Once you choose it, either input the IP address of the required camera or switch to Domain Input and set the domain address. Set the correct port, username, and password and test to confirm that the device has successfully communicated with the device. Click on Add to confirm and add the camera. The next interface is Edit Camera. Here you can edit some general parameters. Note that this can be done only after adding the IP cameras. In order to easily identify the cameras, use the Preview button which will pop up a live video stream from the camera. Here, you can perform several modifications. First, you can edit the camera's name. Click on the pencil icon and set a new name for the camera. Note that this will change the name and the camera OSD setting as well. Click on OK to confirm. From this interface, you will also be able to change the camera's password. Click on the down arrow next to the Operation tab and then choose Modify IPC Password. In the open window, choose the desired cameras, input the new password, and re-enter it for confirmation. The trash bin is used to delete cameras. For more advanced users, you can update the IPC firmware. Click on the up arrow under the Upgrade tab to update the camera's firmware. After confirming the update, choose the cameras and firmware version from the open window and confirm. Please note that if you are using a PoE MVR, the IP cameras which connect directly to the PoE ports of the MVR will be displayed automatically in the camera list. Next to the Edit Camera, we will find 
in channel sequence. This is where you will set the groups and dwell times that will be available in the main interface. Click in channel sequence in the interface to go to the configuration interface. Click on the plus icon to pop up the settings window. Set the group name and dwell time between cameras. Tick the cameras you wish to add to that group and click add to confirm. This group will now be available in the live view interface. You can modify the group's name and dwell time by clicking on the pencil icon. Changing the chosen cameras is not possible after creating the group. If you wish to delete the group, click on the trash bin icon. Next in line we have the image configuration. It is the second subcategory for camera settings. You can quickly get there by clicking on Start, then Settings, Camera and Image. Here we will find OSD settings, image settings, and mask settings. We will start with the OSD. The OSD, or on-screen display, allows you to choose which information will appear on the camera video stream and what will be its position on the image. You can set the information for each camera individually, including the camera name string and OSD position. Or, you can set all of the cameras together, excluding the camera name string and position. To set an individual camera, first select the desired input, the camera name. Enable or disable the name and time OSD. If you have enabled any of the OSD details, you will be able to drag the red OSD marking in the image preview area to change its position. Click Apply to save the settings. You can enable or disable the OSD from all the cameras by clicking on the Apply All arrow next to the corresponding tab. After changing any setting, click Apply to save. Under the OSD settings, you will find the image settings. In general, Provision ISR is doing its best to provide you the best image settings possible. But in some scenarios, you might want to fine-tune these settings. The basic operations which will be available for any camera connected to the NVR are brightness, contrast, saturation, and hue. You will be able to adjust it and see the effect on the live preview window. If you are using cameras in Provision ISR protocol, you will be able to access the Advanced menu by clicking on the arrow on the right side. Here you will find Sharpness, WDR, DNR, White Balance, Mirror, and Flip. In case you wish to revert any changes you made, click on Default to restore the image settings to Factory Default. This will not affect any other settings of the camera, but will restore all the image settings, including image settings that don't appear in this interface. Once done with the image settings, we will go down to Mask Settings. The mask is used to cover some areas of the image for enhanced privacy. The mask will work only on cameras connected by Provision ISR protocol. Select the camera you wish to configure and enable the mask. Click the Draw button and drag the mouse on the image area to set the mask area you can set up. Four mask areas for each camera. After adding the mask areas, you can choose the color of the mask from the right side of the interface. Clicking on the delete button will delete all the configured mask areas for the selected camera. Click apply to save the settings. Now we will go to the motion settings. This is one of the most important settings of the system as it will affect the motion alarms and record. In order to start, first select the camera and enable the motion. Next, you should set the sensitivity. The higher the value, the more sensitive the camera will be to detect motion. Remember that after all this is video motion detection, which is based on pixel colors, so we don't want a high sensitivity which will trigger an alarm to every leaf blown in front of the camera. But we also don't want a low sensitivity that might ignore an important event. After setting sensitivity, set the duration. The duration refers to the interval time between two motion detections. For instance, if the duration time is set to 10 seconds, 
Once the system detects a motion, it will trigger the alarm and disregard all other motions that channel for 10 seconds. If there is another motion detected during this period, it will be considered as continuous movement. Otherwise, it will be considered as a single motion. Now let's set the area of interest. Left click, hold and drag the mouse cursor on the camera image from the top left to the bottom right. You can set more than one motion area. To delete, left click, hold and drag the mouse cursor on camera image from the bottom right to the top left. Click all to set the whole camera image as the motion detection area. Click invert to swap the selected area and the unselected area. Click clear to clear all the motion areas. Now click apply to save the settings or click processing mode to go to the alarm handling configuration interface of the motion alarm. We will explain about this interface in the alarm chapter. Last in the camera settings, we have the PTZ. The device supports full control over IP speed dome or PTZ cameras. In the PTZ configuration, you can set presets and cruises. The method described here can be used from the live view interface as well. First we have the PTZ controls. There is not much to explain here. Next we have the preset settings. Presets can be used to save important locations and recalling them quickly when needed. As default, the preset list is empty, so you will have to add and configure the presets that are important to you. In order to do so, follow these steps. Click Preset to go to Preset Operation tab. Use the PTZ controls to set the PTZ on the desired location, then click on the Add button. In the opened window, choose the desired preset number and give it a name for easy identification. Click OK to save the settings. If you wish to add a preset you have already saved, click on it on the right window. You can change the name and click Save, or adjust the position of the camera and click on Save Position. Once you have saved your presets, you can configure a cruise. A cruise is built from several presets. You can set the order and the dwell time between presets as you wish. To configure a cruise, click on the Cruise section and click on Add to open the settings window. Input the cruise's name for easy identification and click on Add Preset. Select the preset name, dwell time and preset speed and click OK. Repeat this process until you have completed adding all the presets you wish to have on that cruise. You can edit a dwell time by clicking on the pencil icon or delete a preset completely by clicking on the trash bin. In order to activate the cruise for testing, click on the play button. Clicking on the stop button or moving the PTZ to any direction will stop the cruise. After adding the cruise, Click Delete button to delete the selected cruise completely. This finalizes the camera configuration.